Samad, the self-sufficient. He is the one upon whom the whole of creation relies with regards in all needs, predicaments, and necessities. This is due to his unrestricted perfection with regards to his person, his names, his attributes, and his action. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدُ Say he is Allah, the one, Allah al-Samad. So al-Samad wa huwa alladhi taqassaduhu al-khalayq kulluha fi jami'i hajatiha wa dhururatiha wa ahwaliha, he says. Lima lahu min al-kamal al-mutlaq fi dhatihi wa asma'ihi wa sifatihi wa fa'alihi. Al-Samad, it is, as some of the scholars have said in the tafsir, الذي يصمد إليه الخلائق Every of one from the creation intends and turns to him. Even the atheist. When he's going through that hardship, where does his heart turn to? None other than his creator, his sustainer. يصمد إليه الخلائق It is a name that he means he's eternal, unaffected, unchanged. He is the one that can satisfy each need in a way he knows his best. He is without any needs. He is the one upon all the creation depends while he depends on no one. So re- rely on this name and turn to him in hardship and ease and know that you can turn to him and he can satisfy your needs, all of your affairs. It is a name for seeking, turning to Allah for refuge. That's why that man, when he was invoking Allah, he says, As'aluka bi ismik al I ask you by Allah, by your greatest names. And uh, he mentioned from it, a summit. A summit, the one that you can turn to. 